What's up, everybody? In this video, we're gonna be reviving the Chinese four-wheeler. So this four-wheeler has been parked for roughly about 10 months now. And honestly, while I parked it, I just got tired of messing with it. I really did because it was like a BMW. Everything I did, something always went wrong and I had to go back and fix it. And I just got really frustrated. It's been there ever since not running. All right, so the power plant in this four-wheeler is a Predator 212 with a stage two cruiser kit. The main drivetrain on this thing is a 30 series torque converter and this thing has a ton of acceleration. Moving on back, we have a number 40 chain with a nine tooth sprocket up on the front and a 43 tooth on the rear, giving it a 4.77 to one ratio and a crappy chain tensioner that literally does nothing, but we're gonna fix that. Broken exhaust that rattles about and we're also gonna fix that. So let's get this old four-wheeler out of the shed and make it great again. All right, let's get to it. In case y'all are wondering, yes, I did drain all the fuel out of the fuel tank and all the fuel out of the carburetor. So there's a chance that all this should be okay. The oil actually looks pretty good, sort of. Uh, the steering bushing is kind of worn a slight bit, and we're gonna have to get a new one of these. I swear, y'all, this is like worst case scenario. If we want to take this out, I gotta move the entire motor. So that kind of sucks. And you're probably like, well, why don't you lower the motor? It's because this torque converter here, the way it's angled, I had to put these one inch spaces up there in that steel plate to jack it up for that thing there to just clear so I can just slide the whole thing in there and run it right there. Everything in here is pretty much a tight squeeze. I know you're also asking, well, why don't you just cut this part out, drop the motor back down, have the torque converter down there. It's gonna really weaken it because we had to weld angle iron in this frame it's just a very, very cheap steel used to weld it together. So that's gonna take away structural integrity. So that's not an option. Okay, so I'm gonna have two arms coming out here. The only one coming out here is like a support. I'm gonna put a bolt through it. And I'm just gonna put a spring somewhere out here to keep the chain tight. We will be putting one of the original sprockets on from the original jack shaft, which is currently in the foiler, because this is just highly unacceptable. I have these metal or steel plates here from the lawnmower when I lowered the transaxle, or raised the transaxle up in the lawnmower and basically lowered it. I'm just gonna cut this down the center, have two of them, have one on this side, another one on this side, and that should be good, y'all. So this stuff should work the way it is and I shouldn't have to do any welding. That's actually gonna work really good. Boom! Everything is fully done now. A little tip, that right there, I put a little bit of grease right there, so, you know, that spins and that can also spin, that can help move back and forth easier. And I put a little bit of grease inside of there, but, works smooth, it's not bonding up. Now let's work on the torque converter itself. Eh, can't hurt for a quick blowout. Now, the rear pulley. All right, no laughing, guys. And that's how you clean a driven pulley on a 30 series torque converter or 40 series or any torque converter. All right, torque converter pulleys are clean. So now we are moving on to the exhaust. Get her done. It's 
somewhere. It's like trying to crank up the racing go kart after sitting for a while. Three belts for 20 bucks, I'll put a link down below. All right, so sorry I didn't film me driving it down the road, but it literally did the exact same as the four-wheeler expected. If you watch the other videos, it's the exact same thing. Now, if you watch where I canceled out the overdrive and the 30 series torque converter, I, you, I got a regular bushing, cut it in half, and slid it over the previous bushing to space it out more so the pulley wouldn't go over and it would sound better running at a higher RPM. Well, somehow that thing just completely exploded and now it's back to bleh, and like dogging it out because the pulley's going all the way over and it's just it's just too high of a ratio and the motor doesn't have the torque to pull it along at that speed. So my solutions, you can go to Lowe's and buy this part here. It's basically just like the bushing right here, except for it's actually a little bit bigger around. I'm gonna put that on there. Hopefully it's not gonna slap off and blow up and everything. So the rear exhaust mount is done and that has a lot more rigidity to it. I have, can't see anything, but I did fix this bumper from flopping back and forth. I bent that bar back straight because that was all bent in. That's good. Clipped off this old wiring harness. There it is. And yeah, let's drop this thing around tomorrow. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is change the engine oil. This is the oil I'm using, and this oil is specially designed for splash lubricated engines. All right, got the oil in there. I'm gonna run it for a little bit and then change it again because that way it's pure oil in there because this oil doesn't really like mixing with other different types of oils. And boom, just like that, we're done.
By the way, this virgin strut muffler has the centerpiece knocked out of it, so it's pretty much like a resonator. By the way, y'all, I am cleaning up the entire garage because I am sick and tired of this bullcrap where I put something down and it's completely lost. So I'm currently working on this section right now where all the scrap metal is. I started from there, worked around here, and go up there and work over there and then in right there. All right, y'all, there you have it, the Chinese ATV. Uh, finally actually running and driving like it's supposed to. Um, so far, it hasn't really given me any problems, so uh, place we're going for Thanksgiving, we got a lot of land, so we're gonna take this out and ride it around. I'm hoping that all this stuff's gonna turn out good, nothing crazy else is gonna happen, and I also have a little surprise coming. So hopefully, it'll be fine. Uh, so hope you like this video. If you did, click on the other buttons. Other YouTubers tell you to click. If you didn't like this video, click a thumbs down twice. Be sure you unsubscribe so you be sure to miss absolutely everything. Um, and yeah, y'all should see me in the next one.